All right, guys, so per your request, let us try number four from this challenge worksheet. If you want to just have that, you know, written down or on one of your devices, whatnot, let's give this a go. So let's see what's going to happen here. What are they telling us for number four? Let g of x equal this with g inverse. Check this out. They are telling us that the inverse of g should be called h. Let's do that real quick. Let's find the inverse of g, and whatever that equation is, we're going to call it h. So what exactly is g? The equation for g is x plus pi. So let's, let's establish that real quick. g of x is, g of x is x plus pi. Let's find the inverse. So g of x is x plus pi. That's g. Now let's find the inverse. So I'm going to call this x equals y plus pi. I want to get y alone, so I subtract pi to the other side. So x minus pi is y. And so let's just switch the order. y equals pi, uh, x minus pi. So I should not call this y. I should call it g inverse. So this animal should be called g inverse of x. But in the directions, they said that g inverse could also be called h. So what I'm trying to say is that the inverse of g, otherwise known as h, is x minus pi. Let me write that down here. So we have our two functions, and they are inverses of one another, g and h. So let me just wipe this off. Let's go back now to the main problem, and let's see what is going on. So here. Now look, that symbol is a symbol for a composition. So what you can do is you can rewrite all of this again, but instead of a composition symbol, you can turn it essentially into a parenthesis. Also, another thing, instead of writing G inverse, I'm going to write H. Also, instead of writing H inverse, I'm just going to write G because G and H are inverses. So those two things will make this simpler to look at. Turn the composition symbols into a parenthesis and turn an inverse into the other letter. So if we do that, and if I leave this here, this original expression, let me just leave this down here. That original expression would become this. It would become H, parenthesis, 50 H, because G inverse becomes H, parenthesis, <clears throat> H inverse becomes G, and then I have parenthesis. So let's see, I have, now I have G and then parentheses H, keep track here, parenthesis. Now instead of that, that should become G, and then parenthesis, that stays G and that stays H. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight functions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight functions. This looks good. And all of this is going to be evaluated at the number one. Now I have how many doors open? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight doors. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe that we have everything that we need on the board so I can wipe that off. So let's work inside out, working from the right and moving to the left where H and G are inverse models, because that's the case. H and G, they knock out. So knock them out as pairs. And look, yet again, I, I know that, that, look, don't let the G and G side by side mess you up, because that is really attached to this, because you go from right to left as pairs. And look, so it was G and H. Those are gone, completely gone. Now watch, the next pair says G and H. Those are gone, right? It doesn't matter if it's HG or GH, they're gone. Hold up, these are not gone, because this is G and then G again. So those, those don't knock out. So let's refresh this. So we have H, 50H, then I have a G and a G, and the blue stuff is all gone, and it's just one. So now we have four doors to close. And let's work here inside out. Let's focus on g of 1. So some quick scratch work. 
G of one is whatever you get when you plug one into G. If I plug one into G there, it'll be one plus pi. One plus pi. So that one plus pi is what can replace G of one. So let's refresh this yet again. H parentheses, 50H G. And now that G of one is gone and one plus pi takes its place. And now there are only three doors left to close like that. If you want to, you can insert a multiplication symbol between the 50 and the H. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's a little baby red dot that denotes multiplication. And the reason I put it there is because I'm looking ahead and watch what happens now. So one plus pi is supposed to be plugged into G, but I'm not going to do that because right after G, what happens? H comes along and you know that G and H are inverses. So scratch off G and scratch off H, but there's still multiplication. So here's what this becomes. This becomes H of 50 times one plus pi. And if you guys want to, we can quickly distribute the 50. So this becomes H of 50 plus 50 pi. And so now to finish this exercise, go to function H and plug in 50 plus 50 pi. So we can go to equation H, which is here, and we can plug in that as the input. So H of 50 plus 50 pi would equal, well, whatever you put there, you put there. So I'm gonna copy and paste the input here, 50 plus 50 pi, and then it says minus pi, which of course is 50 plus 49 pi, because 50 pi minus one pi is 49 pi, and so our final answer would be whatever that says, 50 plus 49 pi. So I'm glad that this exercise was requested. It's not the most challenging problem. You just have to be really, 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 really careful. <laughs> so that's a nice problem. Thank you for that recommendation. I hope that helped. And if there's any more that you want me to work out, please let me know.